Hi crocheters of the world! In this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet uh, the wrap with the uh, butterflies uh, because flying butterflies uh, because um, not very long time ago let's say uh, one month ago I uh, did the tutorial of the Bactus shawl, Bactus scarf, with the same stitch and lots of you asked me how to work it as a wrap rectangular uh, rectangular shawl, okay? And this is the one that I did in a uh, triangular way. It's so very nice and this is the, the one that I will show you in this tutorial how to work. Uh, what can I say about this stitch? I don't think I have to say something because it is so about its uh, beauty because you can just see it by yourself. I will tell you that uh, it is not difficult but so it's not a difficult um, stitch because you only need to know triple crochet, chain, single crochet. Okay, uh, but it is uh, very important to pay attention. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. These are the, the words there that are, um, I don't know, coming to my, to my mind uh, when I think about this, uh, this project. So it's wonderful. A wonderful stitch and I think you have to give it a try, even if, as I said, you must pay attention, lots, lots and lots of attention, but mm, it's, it's beautiful. I work it with uh, a lace, kind of lace yarn uh, from our boutique, you have the link below, and with 3.75 millimeters hook. And now I let you to the tutorial about uh, two 100 grams of yarn, 150 let's say. So let's see how to work this lovely beautifully stitch. It's kind of crocodile stitch, so if you already worked and know how to work the crocodile stitch will be easier. If you already worked my um, scarf, my, my um, back to scarf with the same stitch, you have the link below and at the end of this tutorial you have actually the um, the photo, clickable photo. So it's a multiple of 14 plus 1. I will put 2 times 14, so 20, 28 stitch air chains to begin, plus 1 actually, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and I will go one more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 1. Okay, I have my 29 stitches, so you will put as many as you wish, uh, your your scarf or, or a shawl with to be. And now we will begin, the first and the second rows will be um, set up rows and from the third, third to six, it's a four rows repeat, fourth, uh, so third to six rows will be the repeat sequence. So I will begin with a chain of four for the first triple crochet, so chain four, yarn over twice and the insert hook one, two, three, four into the fifth chain from the hook and triple crochet into it. This is my first pair of triple crochets. Now chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven, yarn over twice and we will skip six stitches, six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six into the next. Work again a pair of triple crochets. One, we have it here, and two. Now again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yarn over twice, and one, uh, skip one, two, three, four, five, six, into the seventh, work your one, two, three, four, five, six, 
work your uh, pair of triple crochet three four five six seven now you will just continue on even if you have more multiples one two three four five six seven it will your seventh work your you will just continue on like this and one two three four five six seven yarn over twice now we skip the last one two three four five six into the seventh which is the last chain work your last pair so let me explain you something here I want to finish this we have five now as many 14 chains as you will put you will have pairs of pairs so you will have two pairs for one multiple so for one 14 chains so two 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 and always you will have add one pair more so two pairs two pairs two pairs plus one pair which means no matter how many multiples you will put you will always finish and with a odd number total odd number of pairs so here i have five if i put 14 three times i will have seven and so on okay so always you finish like this okay so for the first row we will begin working here the first butterfly and then we will skip one work butterfly skip one work butterfly okay always this is a rule for this stitch we will work into a pair we will skip so always will be a skipped pair in between two butterflies okay now chain five to begin yarn over twice around the first double triple i will work one double triple uh sorry one triple around the first triple sorry i will work the first chain three four for the pico insert hook exactly into the stitch the triple crochet pull up a loop and here on the left side single crochet and i will work four more exactly in the same manner two three four and five I have my five okay now chain five three four five I will come in between the two triple crochet here I insert hook and slip stitch to join now I will chain five again three four five and I will begin to work on the other side on the other triple crochet of my first pair the other wing of my butterfly and will be exactly the same thing so just go ahead and work your five triple crochets with pico and single crochet here I have ready my first my first butterfly is completed and now what I have to do is to chain seven and to skip the other pair just control that this is the next so I will work into this one uh, we must be careful where we go to work the next butterfly four five six seven okay yarn over twice and this so this is the one that I skip this is the one that I work and I will continue on like this exactly the same thing when I finish this one chain seven and skip one pair and work into the next if you have more you just continue like this until you work into the last pair or last butterfly and this will be the first two rows to set up rows let me finish mine and we will begin with the third row which will be the first row of the sequence already. just want to show you i finished my second butterfly exactly as i did the first one now i will chain seven again yarn over twice and just watch carefully where you have to work the next one so skip the next pair which is this one 
and around the next pair first this one and the other one so yarn over twice and here I will go now it happens that this is my last one but this is how you will continue on until you reach your last because maybe you will have more for a wrap or shawl or anything you want to work with this beautiful stitch so let me just finish my two wings of my last butterfly and I will be back for the four repeating rows so my first row my first two rows set up rows are ready let us begin with our four rows of um, the repeating sequence obvious the first and the third of these four rows so the third actually and the fifth are the rows with the uh, triple crochet pairs and the second and the fourth or um, it's three four five fourth and sixth will be the rows with the butterflies now this is third we begin with a chain of four and with a uh, triple crochet into the stitch here actually of the wing of the butterfly okay so into this third row we always begin and finish with a pair here exactly um, on the top of the last and the first wing that we worked okay in the previous row and chain seven yarn over twice and now we go exactly in between the two wings of the butterfly and we work a pair of of triple crochets chain three four five six seven. always chain seven now we go into the chain seven attention not this but into the chain seven in between the two uh, butterflies into the fourth actually of this chain seven and we work our next um, pair of two triple crochets okay and now we will just continue on like this once in between the wings once into the fourth chain of the chain seven in between the butterflies of the previous row four five six seven always chain seven in between the pairs that you work this is the first triple and the second okay now again one two three four five six seven yarn over twice insert hook in between into the fourth this is my fourth chain one and two one two three four five six seven now again in between the two wings I go and now I will finish as I began one two three four five six seven with a pair into the last or into the chain here it is I don't know it's the last triple crochet of the first wing that I worked okay now this is what we have and just show you this is my third row and I must say I have you will always have into the first of the repeating sequence uh, one, uh, two pairs more than into the um, fifth. So this is third into the fifth. You will have two pairs less because we will begin to work the pair here in between the uh, wings of the first butterfly. Okay, and we will finish in between the wings of the last butterfly. So not on the top of the last wing and the first wing okay so we will have only so less two two less yes less two so here I had five now I have two four six seven okay 
we will begin in today's row we will begin to work the butterflies here into the first pair uh, always this is a rule always we work the butterflies in, uh, on the uh, around the pair on the pair of two triples in between the butterflies of the previous row so uh, we never work the butterflies uh, on the pairs in between the wings of the butterfly of the previous row so here okay so we always work in between the butterflies so we work here 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 and here so it's one two three and four we will have one butterfly more into the third into the sorry fourth row so let us begin our fourth row with our butterflies chain five and work your first butterfly so I finished my first butterfly of my fourth row and now I will just pay attention where I have the pair in between the wings of the previous row I will skip this and work into this one so this is the pair that I want to work in and now I will continue on like this till the end so chain seven always chain seven four five six seven and just go ahead and work in between so into this one let's skip this and work into this skip this and work into this i will see you at the end of this fourth row of the repeating sequence we always know how to work the butterfly so you don't have problems in working them by yourself so i finished my butterflies as you can see I have four I worked exactly on the pairs that I shown you and now let us begin our fifth row which is our second row of pairs and this second row of pairs will begin exactly uh, on the top of the first of the last wing that we worked and we uh, sorry sorry no 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 this um, this particular uh, row, so it's the fifth row, sorry, will begin in the middle, in between the wings. We will work the very first pair. As you can see, uh, we actually kind of repeat this setup two rows, but we are uh, working um, in the repeating sequence. So you, you have to know how to begin to work here and how to begin, you will see, to work the butterflies actually into the last row. So we will chain three, four, five, just to uh, insert hook in between the two uh, wings of the first butterfly and to work our first pair of um, triple crochets here it is okay from here we will just do the same thing as we did into the third row so it's one two three four five six seven chains and we will go ahead and work uh, into the chain uh, fourth one two three fourth chain uh, of the uh, chain seven in between the butterflies of the previous row and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again, and in between the wings. So uh, into the fourth chain of the chain seven in between the butterflies and in between the wings of the butterflies. So this is how we work three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and one, two, three, this is four. Okay, here we are. One and two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we go in between the wings again. I will show you what I did so far so you can just have a nice view of the entire piece. So, exactly the same thing in between the wings or into the four and then into the four fourth chain of the chain five uh seven one two three four five six seven always chain save seven don't forget okay one two three and fourth okay and we will stop 
with these pairs exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 exactly uh, in between the wings of our last uh, butterfly no matter how many butterflies we have because as I said uh, for a wrap you will need more uh, than this but we will stop in between so we won't work on the top of the last of the first actual wing that we did in the previous row uh, because in this row uh, we, pre we are preparing um, the row with less butterflies okay this is row number uh, five and now let's get started the row number six which is the last row which is the last row of our repeating so it's three four five six there are these four rows repeating so i said that a um, general rule is that we always work the butterflies in between the butterflies of the previous row which means here we won't work a butterfly we will begin to work uh, the first butterfly of the sixth row uh, into these two mm, triple crochet around them okay so we have to skip this work here and then we will begin skip this work here skip this and work here so we will uh, actually work into the second we will begin into the second a pair and we will finish into the second to last pair in this uh, second row of butterflies actually okay so i will chain three four five again and i will skip directly here so we'll take and be begin to work my very first butterfly and that's it so as I said, as I'm trying to say, oops, I, I make a knot here, and I'm trying to say it's not difficult. So it is not okay. I have my knot here, that's it. So it is not difficult, but we must pay attention of um, where we are working and how we are working so it's only triple crochet and chain as you can see the stitches are well known but but um yes and some single crochet uh but we have we have to be to pay attention of what where we are working actually because we can actually lost our um, pattern actually we can we can confuse it's easy to confuse in this in this pattern stitch it's very beautiful but we we just must be very very attentive so this is my first one okay I will work around on the next just wanted to show you one two three four five I will go ahead in between the two and slip stitch one two three four five and then on the other side i'm going to work my my second wing of my very first butterfly okay so that's it one two three and with the single crochet this is the second triple and now I will work the third with the pico. Don't forget about the pico and the single crochet to close it. And this is my fourth. Yes, one, two, three. And this is my fifth. Okay, I have my five. Oops, one, two, three. Okay, that's it. Perfect. So I have my first butterfly finished. So I will just watch carefully where I will work the next. First of all, let us chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And where I have to go, it's this one I have to skip. It's here in between the two butterflies. Okay. So always just watch before you begin 
actually is here. So when you begin to work the butterfly, it's easy. But watch well enough where you work it because it must be um, in the right pair around the right pair how can I say okay so that's it these are the four rows we have to re that we have to repeat for the entire uh, the entire pattern so um, anyway I don't know what you will want to do but um, I think a wrap would be just lovely uh, okay so it's one, two, three, four, five, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Insert two in between and chain seven again. Why can four, seven? Sorry, chain five. Okay, and work your next wing, second wing of the same of the same butterfly. Okay. That's it. So, hope you enjoy uh, it. Hope you will give it a try, even if it can uh, be mm, frightening <laughs> at the beginning. But, um, yes, maybe you have to be mm, a strong beginner, okay? If you want to uh, try it as a beginner um, with a lot of determination. And I'm sure there will be that uh, we will try it because it's incredibly beautiful. It's incredibly delicate, incredibly fine. So fancy and I don't know. You tell me, you name it. Okay, so that's it. As you can see, we have uh, the first two rows. We, we go... Um, we go a little bit larger than with the other two rows, we go um, narrower, so which means actually, as I said, we will always have two pairs less in these two last two rows of uh, the repeating sequences and one butterfly less, okay? So no matter how many uh, butterflies you will have, this is another rule. Okay, so as I said before, hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like my tutorials and of course, don't forget to share them on other socials, on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, on Instagram, anywhere you can because, or to name me, because like this, you just make me a, a huge favor. Uh, it's, it's something that uh, you cannot understand how important it is for me to continue uh, upload uh, videos on YouTube uh, for free for you. So really, really, I hope you, mm, you understand this and I hope you can, um, you will, you will give it a try. You will just end up with something very, very special. So, see you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye.